Hey guys, I'm back. Thank you for tuning in. Um, you've already written title, and I just have to say that is true. Um, it's not a surprise because a lot of people have been blocked or suspended or um, terminated permanently for just putting things on Facebook that um, I guess Facebook deemed as um, too sensitive for viewers. But let me tell you something. Um, I got suspended on Facebook for 24 hours just for posting how I felt about civil rights. And then when I go on a white supremacist page, all I see is blacks, 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 everything wrong about blacks. Now you tell me that. Um, there's a page right now. I mean, there's hundreds of pages out there that have, that I've seen. Um, so I'm like, okay, here we are, um, protesting out there in the streets. And then here we go protesting on our own private pages and we get suspended for putting our own content about, about how we feel on our own platform. And now, I, you know, that made me upset. But then again, it kind of sort of backfired on them because everything that they deemed as sensitive is still up there. So I, I may not be able to post anything for 24 hours, but you're going to see my content that you don't want to see up there for 24 hours. So basically, you just you just backfired it on yourself. People are still going to go on my page. They're still going to read how I feel about white people. They're still going to go on my page and they're still going to see how I feel about the people who sat there and stole from us and make us a living difficulty trash version of hell. Um, and hell is trash. So it's no type of version. But I, I have an issue with that because I see so many white supremacists have pages and nobody is speaking out or blocking their pages. But you block a black person's page who's been through the most civil rights in America and they can't even express themselves the way that they want to express themselves. That's how you. That's why I said they need to change the system, um, which I believe they will in the future. Um, but right now, it's almost like there is no way in the world this country is going to move forward with um, prejudice, racist, confederacy, supremacist acts. That's not going to work because now you have made yourself look like you were superior and you put yourself above others like you've always done uh, will no longer work. So I will continue to say how I feel about white people. I will continue to say how I feel about black people. I will continue to say how I feel about Hispanics and other races. Okay. And if you feel like your race is talked about the most. Well, that's your problem. You know what I'm saying? That's your problem. So I'm going to keep everything that I have on Facebook. I'm not taking nothing down. Everything is directed to who it needs to be directed to. And that needs to be resolved within you and yourself only. Because I cannot help you feel better about your own race. That's who you are. White people have no color. Okay, white people are thieves. White people, and not all white people, but some white people, um, but all white people, um, and 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 that's just the bottom line. I'm really not gonna be going all day, all long about that. Just point, point blank, period. I don't like um, I don't like doing that. Um, but yeah. Just know that I'm not going to make myself um, vulnerable to rules and regulations that aren't being followed by not even you.
you're you're giving out rules and regulations that you want someone to follow, but you're not even doing them yourself. So no, that's the thief that I'm talking about. That's the hypocrite that I'm talking about. Okay, it's not going to come for me. Cause all I did was go on there and write how I feel personally. I didn't say I was gonna kill this person or I kill that person. I didn't say that. Okay. I did say I was going to use my practices against you because why you use your practices against me by being racist. That was your practice right there. So let me reach out to my ancestors and do that work. And you feel that later on. Because right now, a cop in High Point, North Carolina is already dealing with it. My former coordinator who racistly fired me, it's, it's been, he's way, I'm not even going to talk about how he's, I'm going to leave him out of the picture. But this cop that recently um, showed himself in front of a black community going inside of someone's house trying to um, plot drugs on them and raid their house in High Point. Oh, yes, we went up there. Um, when I saw that cop that came out the house, out of all those other cops that was in front of him, I looked at that cop and I said, that's the same racist cop that I had an issue with at the market at the market square in High Point, the same cop. I said, I guarantee you, he did most of the talking inside of that house to interrogate those people. And now he's the last one walking out behind him, like he like he ain't been doing no talking. So you know what? Since you since you think you got it going on, <laughs> oh boy, there really ain't too much to say about. A person after I put a hex on them because the result of them being affected by it is enough for me to not talk about because why when I'm already healed you're not healed and that makes me healed I will be healed if even if you were or weren't. But it embraces me more by the power and techniques that I use from my ancestors and natural ingredients and the rituals that I use against a white person who is considered to be racist. They shall pay for what they have done. And that's my reason for doing what I do. That's my reason for doing what I do. I've gotten along with plenty of white people who didn't even give me that side. But I tell you one thing, once you give a, a warlock or a witch one of those vibes, it's over for you, buddy. It's over. Now you have to deal with the consequences because you decided to deal with them on yourself. Now you did not ask for help because if you would have asked for help, another person would have overseen another person like me or anyone else. That's if that person that they asked for help was not also racist. Then you have to worry about. But this is why I'm telling you, if you are Caucasian and you are his, racist, I'm going to say Hispanic. If you are um, racist, okay, Think twice about the world that you're living in today because years ago, people did not have the information and the practices and the rituals and the rooted spells that they used to protect themselves from evil people back then. Now they have it. Now you can go get this information from anywhere in the library, on the internet. From a friend, they're going to tell you hundreds and thousands of rituals from the African descent, from the African ancestors, thousands. Creole, Oshun, it's too many. This is why I'm telling you guys to understand why it is important to speak out on the behalf of your right in this country 
anywhere, but definitely because it's in this country, because it's been going on for so long. And so many people, I can't believe what really gets on me is that so many people will really um, um, ask rhetorical questions about why you feel the way you do about white people who are considered to be racist. Like, I am so sick and tired of people that is a wasting my time and I don't even give them that energy. Like, I don't even waste my time on people, especially if you're black, not understanding your own culture. If, and, and it hurts me to know that you guys are actually black and brought up around white people and don't even know who you are because you've been you you've accepted the american way of adapting but not the uh real reason for adapting to your true self and that's something that you're going to have to realize because um just like al sharpton's once said you can ignore the issue, but if you ignore the issue, the country will be in a deep freeze. They will forget about it and they'll go past it like it didn't even happen. And then where's the justice? You, my friend, may not have been through anything. You, may, you my friend, may have not have experienced racism. Or you, my friend, may have experienced racism and don't want to say it because it's too painful for you to mention you, my friend, probably um, have been, you probably don't even realize that you're being racially profiled because you're so immune, you know, and that's the issue. A lot of you guys don't know that you're being racially profiled because you're immune. Some of you know and don't even care because you, you've given up on yourself. Some of you know and don't care because you know you are above them, but a lot, most of you all have really given up on um, reaching out and looking to see who you are, your true self, you know, because that is, the mind is a terrible thing to waste, guys. And I don't know why people don't do their research whenever it comes to finding um, answers about not only who they are, but who's around them. The information that you're given, are you going to do research on it? Um, COVID-19, am I going to do my research or am I going to listen to everything I hear on the computer? I mean, on the, um, on the news and what they say, am I going to do my own research? Am I going to actually look at it and read? Um, uh, protests and George Floyd and Black Lives Matter. Um, blah 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 blah. It didn't. It wasn't started by a black person. It's a white person. Okay. Are you going to do your own research? You see what I'm saying? Do you know really how valuable you are in um, programming information to your head and um, being and able to um, to understand more than others who may understand because you did your own research? Do you know how separate you can make yourself from people, from a hundred people once they have the same thing that they've heard from the computer, or I mean from the uh, from the news, but not really done their research? So this is why white people are upset because um, we tell the truth and they don't. And they sleep in the bed of lies and they are so immune and used to it. They're used to Santa Claus. They're used to white Jesus. They're used to um, um, the 4th of July being about the 4th of July. They're used to the Star Spangled Ban Banner being respected by all people. Um, you know, when people stand, if you don't stand, you're disrespecting it. They, 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 they listen to don't burn the American flag, but you can burn the um you get a year in jail for burning the american flag but you won't get no time in jail for burning a flag that has to do with um your country your culture your own african culture you burn an african flag or a jamaican flag no time you burn an american flag that's a year why all they did was kill and sacrifice and murder all you guys do is a lot of people 
they want the tooth fairy. They don't want to just say, you lost your tooth, oh, your new tooth is going bad. They don't want to just say, you lost your tooth, oh, here's a dollar anyway. You know, they don't want, they want to, they want to impute imaginative fake story so that whenever you get old and realize you just basically spent your whole life thinking about one thing happening and it, it never really happened you know it's just you know abortion white people um all diseases hiv aids white people um ebola white people um and, and Louis Farrakhan is one of those people who actually talks the truth and the white man knows it. He knows it. And they still continue to take his information off the air because they feel like it is it's not the right information. Not because America is so used to lies that they don't even see the message that they put out there what it's what it's obtained to do it's obtained to get people to use their minds eventually they're going to wonder and want to know the information so this is why it is very important for um for you all to defund the police continue to protest continue to share content continue to file your complaints make reports okay stand up speak up do whatever you got to do, okay, because white people, this is not the time for white people to take control of anything any anymore, okay? It was in the Bible. Your days are up, okay? Your 400 years of slavery is up. You shall no longer be entitled to what you used to be entitled to because the people of, because my people will wake up and finally realize what they are up against. And this is why I wanted to make this video because I wanted Facebook to know that I see other people who are racist. I'm talking about KKK and um, other white supremacists posting what they want about blacks, about killing, about hanging, thinking it's funny black barbecue and then when I post how I feel about white people they take it they want me they want me they want me to stop for 24 hours but they it backfired on them because everything that I posted is still up there and it's gonna be up there okay you blocked me for 24 hours but you did not take it down it's still up there it's still going to be up there offending the same person whoever it's offending so just know that so thank you all so much for tuning in and I will um I'll come back later on during the day, I think a little bit after this, because I have another video to do, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.